Hey, what's going on, guys? In this video, we are going to see an example of signal plotting. In my previous video, I have explained how to derive an expression from a given signal, but here we are going to do the opposite thing. We are going to create and create a signal diagram based on the given expression. Okay. Now here we have x of t is equal to 3 u of t plus r of t minus r of t minus 1 minus 5 u of t minus 2 and we are going to plot that one. Here the u of t represents the unit step function and r of t represents the ramp function. Now let's go ahead and see how uh, how is the graph is going to look like. Okay, let's draw the graph right here. Okay, let's say let's plot some points let's say this is negative actually 1 2 and 3 this is negative 1 negative 2 and negative 3 negative 4 negative 5 1 2 3 4 okay let's look at the first one first one is a unit step function and it's 3 u of t 3 u of t mean it's actually starting from the origin like a unit step function when negative it's zero so it goes like that and jump to three that's why we have three u of t jump to three and after that it goes like that right so this is what the first expression represents and if you look at the second one we have a ramp function r of t so this is actually starting at zero because t is equal to zero so it's starting at zero if you draw the graph it's going to look like this and the slope is one so it's going to pass like this okay and the next one is negative r of t minus one so negative r means the slope is negative t minus one is it represents one unit shifted to the right so it's negative slope so it's going to go like this okay now let's look at the next one. So let's write the equation of the graphs. This is 3, 3 u of t and this one is r of t and this one is negative r of t minus 1. Okay. The uh, next one is negative 5 u of t minus 2. So what's happening is this is jumping to negative 5 but starting at 2 from the right like uh, it shifted 2 units to the right so it's starting at 2 and then dropping 5 units down starting at 2 and dropping 5 units down so it means it's going like this so this is the final expression now let's see how we can combine all of these together and create our final graph let's draw another diagram okay so this is our diagram let's plot the values this is one two three and here we have one two three four and here we have negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five and if you look at the first one here we have two graphs are here we have this r of t and also we have the 3 u of t if we add these two together this 3 is the only one that's going to left because r is 0 at, at the beginning so if you add these two together this is going to be the one that's going to be there right so we are going to have 3 at the beginning and it's going to go like this so we are going to have 3 at the beginning and then after that we have this r of t function that's starting at 0 so it's basically it's going to shift this one up a little bit okay and then we have this one like we have if you look at this one if you look at this one right here after one we have two things we have this one one to two and this one this down function like r of negative t minus one both of them are going to cancel each other right so this is going in the opposite direction this is down both of the slope is same so we are going to have something like a straight line because both of them are going to cancel each other until two so we are going to have something like this then after two what's happening is we are going to have a straight down this uh, 
5 ju negative 5 u of t minus 1 it means 5 units to the down so this is 4 so if we jump 5 units to the down it's gonna drop at negative 1 so it's going to go like this and drops at negative 1 and after that graph just go like this so this is going to be the graph of the given function so this is the x of t versus t graph and that's how we draw graph from the given expression i hope this helps thanks for watching